So when it comes to early decision, you need to make sure that that college is the perfect, perfect fit for you. For me, I've applied early decision to university and I got deferred from it. And at the time, I really wanted to get into that university. But then after I submitted my application, I instantly regretted it. Even though I had visited the university in the summer, I did so much research about it. I did an interview with them beforehand. They even came to King's Academy and talked to us. I thought I knew everything about the university. Trust me, trust me, trust me. You really, re when we tell you need to research about it, you really need to make sure you know every single detail about the university because as much as I knew, you would still regret it to a certain extent if you're not 100% sure that this is exactly where you want to go. So I applied early decision to Northeastern and I got in. And my advice to you guys is to research a lot about the university or the school you're applying to, about their programs and what they offer. Um, before you do ED because it's binding and also keep in mind that after you get accepted don't slack off on your work because a uh, university could pull back their offer if your grades drop so don't let senior rights get to you. One piece of advice maybe I can give for early decision is talk to people that are already living there. It's really hard for a student to know exactly how it is to live there unless you actually talk to some of the people who are actually going to the university and really just asking them about their experience and what type of student the university would be looking for. Really, really, really make sure that this university is your university. And genuinely, as much research as you do, always do more. Always do more and be in touch with students from the university. When it came to college, it seemed like I had so many options, but honestly, they were very limited. I had to do so much research to figure out the right components I wanted in a university. And I ended up applying ED2. Um, I applied to so many colleges, one of them ED2, because I really felt uh, an urge to be in this college. I felt like I belonged there. I felt like it could really lead me places in life and really amp my success. So that's why I decided to apply to ED2. And I was very realistic about it. Um, I wanted ED2 because I wanted the college and also because there was a better chance for financial aid. I also ended up applying regular decision, but these were the colleges I wanted, but not as much as my ED2. Um, and that's why I ended up applying ED2 and it worked. So I got it out of the way and maybe you can too. <laughs> so um, now we're going to be talking about EA, early action. Um, I applied to three schools early action. And for me, the main reason I did it was because um, you get your decision earlier and it's um, for me I wanted to see like rule things out as quickly as possible so the colleges I really wanted to go to if they had early action I would apply early action so I could get a response earlier and then depending on how they responded I could then plan like my next move so basically um, I think chance wise it doesn't make that much of a difference but if you know you really want to go to that college and you're willing to put in that extra bit of work in the beginning like earlier on, then I recommend you do early action just so you could get your response earlier. Uh, I recommend applying early action because uh, like even though it isn't binding and it may not increase your chances, you do get your replies a lot earlier and it helps you like just relax a bit before you start getting your, your decisions from uh, a regular. So regular decision. Um, regular decision kind of comes for two things. You applied early and you didn't get in. <laughs> or you applied early and you don't love where you got in or you didn't apply early anywhere and you're applying for the first time and I think what's really important when you apply to college especially with regular is that you apply to places that you're going to be happy going it doesn't make sense to dedicate 10, 15, 20 hours to write essays to places that you're ultimately even if you get in you're not going to be happy going um, because it's a big step. It's the next four years. It's a transition and college essays are not easy. I went into this thinking that I could knock them out in you know a couple of hours but they ask questions that require self-reflection and analyzing yourself and questions that are deeper than you anticipate. So it doesn't make sense to do that and then kind of throw it away and I think apply to places that are going to make you happy do the majority of the work beforehand. Don't do it two days or three days or 12 hours before the application is due because you're going to look back on it and regret it. And I think the thing about applying to college is pace yourself, but be proactive. I wish I had been more proactive, but it's 
it's a learning curve and the first couple times you're not going to do it perfectly but you figure out how to get into it by your third or fourth college but you know regular is good <laughs>